okay hello viewers uh, in this today's session uh, in this today's hour we will try to understand about how to form the vibus matrix that is bus admittance matrix using matlab okay. so before going to discuss about the program of a matlab uh, that is how we need to write the program of vibus formation of vibus using a matlab so let us try to understand first of all the persistent network so in this persistent network we have its four buses if you see clearly we have a bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 and bus 4 so we need to form our objective is we need to form the vibus matrix for this four bus persistent network okay so for that reason we have two different methods one is a direct inspection method and another one is singular transformation method so in this uh, session we will try to understand about how to write a program of formation of vibus using direct inspection method okay so we need to write the program for this four bus system network if you see clearly we have a transmission lines we have four buses as well as we have 1 2 3 and four transmission lines five transmission lines okay so one transmission line is from bus 1 to bus 2 which it contains with an admittance value again another transmission line is from bus 1 to bus 4 third transmission line is from bus 1 to bus 3 fourth transmission line is from bus 2 to 3 and fifth and the last transmission line is from bus 3 to bus 4 so we know admittance for every element okay so we know admittance for every element that is uh, y12 is equal to 0.15 plus j0.6 y13 is equal to 0.1 plus j0.4 y Two three is equal to zero point zero five plus j zero point two. Y two four y one four is equal to zero point one five plus j zero point six. Y three four is equal to zero point zero five plus j zero point two. So these are uh, these are the four buses and five transmission lines for this persistent network. We'll try to write the program. So first of all, open the MATLAB. we are writing the vibus we are forming the vibus matrix using the direct inspection direct inspection method first open the matlab if you see which i have already written the program in this one you see clearly the, this is the line data so this file this i have re, i have named this file as line data underscore uh, i have named this data uh, this file as line data underscore for us okay so that means this is Uh, the file which contains our persistent network if you see clearly from bus 1 to bus 2 nl indicates the bus from and nr indicates two bus so bus bus 1 to bus 2 we have indicated the resistance reactance susceptance and if you have any transformer the transformation ratio so we have five columns if you see here so six columns column 1 indicates from bus column 2 indicates two bus column 3 indicates resistance in per unit column 4 indicates reactants in per unit column 5 indicates the half of the susceptants in per unit and column 6 indicates about the transform transformer tap ratio okay so this is the line data which which we need to queue first of all clear then after indicate this line data using this using the square brackets and in, uh, and enter the semicolon then after indicate a vibus so this vibus you need to have another file which it is named with the same vibus okay if you see clearly i will try to explain this line data from 1 to 2 what is the reactance we have if you see from 1 to from bus 1 to bus 2 we have resistance as 0.15 and reactance as j0.6 right so this is the same thing if you see j0.15 plus j0.6 okay the same thing i have done here now let us try to understand after writing the given data let us try to understand how to form a vibus so first coming to the vibus so as we already know vibus using a direct inspection method so if you are using a direct inspection method direct you're using a direct inspection method i think you already know the formula regarding the vibus that is we have two uh, we have two types of elements in a vibus we are going to call it as diagonal elements and off diagonal elements
of diagonal elements on, and off diagonal elements. So for a diagonal elements, we already know that uh, by if you if you are taking any y value, that is the four bus system. So we have four bus system means you are going to get y bus in terms of four by four matrix, right? That means you are going to get y bus in a four by four. If I want to find out y, that is, I will write here what actually this y bus indicates. Y bus. So we have a y11, y12, y13, y14, y14. So represent what is capital Y11, y11 is equal to the summation of all the elements which are connected. That is, I can write here, it is a summation of elements. Sum of the elements connected to that respective bus. In this case, what one? So in this case, so you need to sum all the elements. So you are going to sum all the elements. All the elements. If you see clearly, what you are going to get here. So we are going to represent everything in terms of a small value, right? So what? So that you are going to get here as small. What are the elements connected here? Three elements. What is the element? Y one two. Y one three plus. Y, one, so these are elements which are connected here. In coming to an off diagonal, so it uh, this in this diagonal it is going to repeat it for y11, y22, y33 as well as y44 also. Coming to an off diagonal, off diagonal element is if you want to write for y12, it is actually the subtraction value of small y12. Okay, this where this value which you already know. So the same thing which we are going to repeat in the program. If you see, first of all we need to write for diagonal elements. After we need to write for off diagonal elements so that you are going to form the y bus. So here, if you see here clearly, this time indicating j or i is equal to root of minus one. So l that is the first column. This first column indicates from bus. Second column indicates the two bus. So for that reason, if you see n l, we have we are indicating it as we are uh, using the terminology as n l line data. That is column one line data. NR is equal to column two line data. R is equal to column three. Column three of the line data will give you the resistance in per unit. Column four of the line data will give you the reactance. Column five of the line data will give you the susceptance. Column six of the line data it will give you the transformation ratio. Okay. So what is NBR? NBR is length of the line data. How much length we have that indicates the number of transmission lines. How much length we have? Length of the line data of the column one. So that is column one line. How much it is length? One, two, three, four, and five. So that indicates that it has a five transmission lines, which you already know here. We have a five transmission line. That is the same thing we are going to be done here. Uh, we are going to do here. That is NBR is equal to length of the line data. N bus is equal to the maximum of column one and column two. So you need to know the maximum size of the y bus. So what is the maximum size here? In the column one. Three. What is the maximum size in the column four? Four. So three comma four, which is the maximum one? Four again. So that means this power system network contain the maximum as four. So y bus requires the four by four matrix, right? Now let us try to understand this jet. What is jet? Jet is equal to R plus J is because the given data is always in terms of impedance values. You need to convert that impedance into admittance. So y is equal to R plus J is given. Y is equal to one by J. So with respect to the length one by z, we are going to write. So that means it is going to calculate for every line admittance. So y is equal to one by that uh, line, uh, that line impedance. Y is equal to one by that respective line impedance. So that you are going to get the branch admittance. Okay. So next, let let us try to formulate this one formation of of diagrams. Now in this one we have given all the data. So whatever the data we require to form the y bus, we have given the complete data. So after this one, what you need to do is, so just you are going to, we need to write one for loop matrix because our thing is first we will try to formulate this off diagonal means, okay? First we will try to, first we will try to uh, formulate this off diagonal matrix. First this off diagonal matrix, okay? So then after we will try to formulate this diagonal matrix. Okay? First off diagonal matrix. What is off diagonal here? See, we are assuming k. 
k is equal to 1 is to nbr 1 is to nbr indicates that is actually uh, nbr is the length of the lag so y bus is equal to nl of k comma nr of k is equal to minus y of k so this indicates what for example if k if k is equal to 1 is to 1 that is it is going to k is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 k is equal to 3 k is equal to 4 k is equal to 5 because we have five transmission lines now so nl of 1 if k is equal to 1 nl of 1 nr of 1 which is equal to minus y of 1 so y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 y of 4 y of 4 is already calculated in this one okay just we are substituting from this one to this one so we're going to get y bus 1 1 nl of 1 is 1 what is nl of 1 is 1 what is nr of 1 2 so y 1 2 is equal to you get minus y of 1 that is minus y of 1 means the uh, admittance which is calculated in this first transmission line it will be it is going to represent here similarly y bus nr of k that is y 1 2 is also equal to y 2 1 which it is indicating here so therefore we are going to formulate the octal elements for every uh, for every transmission line okay so now coming to the diagonal elements if you want to move to the next step that is the next step is when k is equal to 1 to 2 okay when it is equal to 2 so what happened when nl of 2 what is the nl of 2 nl of 2 is the second value of the first column that is 1 and next what is nr of 2 nr of 2 is the second value of the second column that is 3 that is you are calculating y13 so y13 is equal to minus y of what is k2 minus y of 2 so what is y of 2 is nothing but a second transmission line admittance so then y13 is equal to minus y of 2 y31 is equal to the same thing y13 okay so in this way we are going to calculate the off diagonal elements of the y bus matrix now coming to the diagonal elements in the diagonal elements if you see clearly so what is here we have in one is 10 bus one is 10 bus indicates how many number of bus system we have four bus system that is we are going to we are going to write here two for loops matrix so one is to n bus and for one is to again the length of that one okay just i will explain clearly if n is equal to one is 10 bus we will try to take for first bus so that means you need to two per n is equal to one n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. So first when n is equal to 1. Okay. When n is equal to 1, what happens here? Next, when n is equal to 1, k is equal to 1. So nl of 1 is equal to 1. Yes. Is nl of 1 is equal to 1? Cross check. You need to verify. Is nl of 1 is equal to 1? Yes. nl of 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, what it is going if it is yes, then y plus 1, 1 is equal to y bus 1 1 because n is equal to 1 no? plus y of k y of k is 1 so in the previous case we don't have y 1 1 if there is any generator then it is going to add here we don't have that one for that reason y 1 1 is equal to y of 1 completed next again it will move to k is equal to 2 because it will complete up to 5 k is equal to 2 that is when is nl of 2 is equal to 1 again is nl of 2 is equal to 1 yes again it is 1 so again it is going to add the previous value here so it is going to do this process is so the previous value what is the previous value one one it is going to add here okay then what is the next one the y of two next when k is equal to three when k is equal to is nl of three is equal to one is nl of three is equal to one yes again it is yes what happened you're going to write y one one is equal to the previous value what you got plus y of y of three so you're going to repeat then k is equal to 1, k is equal to 2, k is equal to 3, k is equal to 4, k is equal to 5. For every case, that is, for n is equal to 1, you are going to do per k is equal to 1 to 5. For n is equal to 2, you are going to do per k is equal to 1 to 5. For n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 5, you are going to do. If it is not satisfying, if nl of k is not equal to n, then it is going to come here. That is, it is going to check in the next column, is nr of k, is that respective value or not. If it is the respective value, it is going to add that respective value here. Okay, so by this way, you are going to get this summation point. That is, you are going to add all the elements here. So that indicates this. This give you gives you the formation of diagonal. Elements. So y bus contains of diagonal and diagonal elements. So this is actual of diagonal. These are nothing but diagonal elements. So now we'll try to run this program. Okay.
okay so now we'll try to cross check this window we can see here so this i will run again okay if you want to see here you can see clearly that want to find out what is nl if i if you want to find out nl you can write you get the values the first column of the line data nr is equal to the second column of the line data cap r is equal to the third column capital x is equal to fourth column capital b what we have included bc is equal to fifth column a is equal to sixth column. so whatever you, you have a data you are going to get from this map in this program if you see if you want to know why you can also know the why why is equal to. you will get the values that is the having how many transmission lines five transmission lines admittance values we are, we, are, we know now okay now but we doesn't we require a while this okay so how you're going to find out just before going to that one you can see the length also that is nbr if you type you'll get the length how much length is five if you want to the if you want to know the maximum bus n bus if you type you'll get how much is the maximum bus number four so you're going to get that one so if you now you can type here y bus so that you're going to we have a four by four matrix one two three four because we have a four bus system so this is the way how to calculate or how to write the program for this five bus using direct inspection method using matlab okay so uh, this is the way to get the result to run the program of a five bus matrix okay thank you all of you